So I wanted to look at rate laws for reversible reactions. So far, all the rate laws I've gone over have been assuming irreversible reactions. So <clears throat> let's just assume that we have a reversible reaction that looks like this, 2B D plus H2, and we have this rate constant here, and we have another one here because you have a separate rate constant for the reverse reaction. And so this is often called the forward rate constant, and this one's the reverse rate constant. <clears throat> so we need to write a rate for going this way and then another rate for going the reverse direction. So to start out we'll write the rate for the disappearance of B. So rate of disappearance of B. So this is forward, oops, so the rate forward is equal to assuming, a, what I, uh, assuming what I talked about in the previous video about the elementary and, well, what was it, <coughs> make sure I say it right. The, oh yeah, the elementary rate laws and the power law models. So assuming that this follows that, then you would get KB CB squared, because you have 2B here. And so then the rate of formation of B, because you're going the opposite direction now, so you're forming B would be R B forward is equal to minus K B okay, that's not right. I wrote this wrong. So this is RB reverse, and so then that would be C, D, C, H2. And then <clears throat> to find the complete rate law, then this is equal to, RB is equal to RB net, so RB forward plus RB reverse. And so then we can plug these in, so RB is equal to, and then <clears throat> since this is the rate of disappearance, but this, the way this is written, that's the rate of formation, then I need to put a negative sign on this. So this is K, negative KB CB squared plus KB minus CDC H2. <clears throat> and then to obtain the rate of disappearance, then we want to multiply by negative 1, so negative RB is equal to KB CB squared plus KB minus C D C H2. And then we want to pull KB out, so pulling that out. So technically this would be your rate law, but these have a certain way that they're normally written, so I'm going to continue and write it that way. So pulling KB out we get 
CB squared plus KB minus over KB CD CH2. And then from here I can introduce the idea of the of the constant of the equilibrium constant. So that's usually KC and that is e so KC is equal to KB over KB minus. And so then I can plug this in so I get that the rate is equal to K B C B squared. Wait, that shouldn't be plus. This is minus. That was plus there, it's minus here. Minus C D C H two over K C. So this is your rate law. So then if you want to find the equilibrium for this reaction, the <clears throat> you know that when when equilibrium is reached, then the rate has to be zero. So So minus R B equals zero equals K B C B squared minus C D C H two over K C. <clears throat> so then solving this you get C B squared equals C D C H two over KC and then KC is equal to C D CH2 over CB squared.